Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the selfish reasons why I chose to marry my husband and things that you might want to look out for when you're choosing a partner, okay? So let's dive in. So I actually got this video idea from my friend Nezerville. She did a video like this, I think like last year or two years ago. And I was supposed to do this video then, but here we are two years later, finally making this video, okay? Yeah, so the first reason why I chose my husband is because he is God-fearing, okay? Yeah, I know it sounds cliche, but cliches are a good thing, okay? Things are cliches for a reason and that's because they work. So yeah, my husband is God-fearing and that was one of the major reasons why I agreed to marry him, okay? I remember the first conversation we had ever, 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 our first phone call, we talked about church. I asked him which church he attends and he was like, he doesn't attend any particular church, that he just goes to any church he feels like going every, you know, every Sunday. We even got into an argument. Yes, our first phone conversation was an argument, okay? And that was about, you know, having a home church versus just attending any church that you want. He was of the opinion that is the body of Christ, you should be able to attend any church at any time. And I was of the opinion that you should have one church instead of being tossed to and fro by different doctrines, you should have just one church. He was looking at things from the ideal perspective, which is that we are the body of Christ and we are all one and we should all worship together. And I was like, no sir, we are not yet one, so stick to one instead of being tossed to and fro. But anyway, the bottom line is that he was God-fearing, he was ready to have the conversation, he was interested in having the conversation, you know, he told me about how he used to go for evangelism and stuff like that and I was like yes yes I need that in my life okay trust me when you have a man that is God fearing at least 80% of your work is done okay you just know that any smart thing just go and report him to God and he's going to listen because he fears God okay but if you have a man that does not fear God <laughs> fear such a man okay fear such a man so the second selfish reason why I chose my husband is because he is hardworking yes I remember when we first met he was in a training kind of setting sometimes he'll call me by 10 p.m. you know 11 p.m. 12 midnight and he'll tell me that he's lecturing his um, colleagues you know he was doing tutorial for his colleagues, he was very hardworking. He was the kind of person that always liked to get things done, you know, quickly. So I mean, that was a plus for me because even right now in our marriage, it is still playing up and it is still to my advantage. Okay. Number three, he is smart and intelligent. Yes, this was a very big deal for me. Now, yes, my husband is a first class student. Okay, he read computer engineering. I mean, obviously he's smart, but it doesn't mean that your partner must be like that. Even if the person did not go to school, you know a smart person when you talk with them. You know an intelligent person when you talk with them. Okay. To me, it was a big deal because I can't deal. I can't deal with someone who can not keep up because I'm quite smart myself, okay? So I couldn't deal with someone who could not keep up. Someone who, if I'm saying a person is saying, I, I, can't, I can't just deal, I can't deal, you know? But I'm just going to say this again. It doesn't mean that if your partner does not go to school, then the person is not smart, okay? You just have to be smart in whatever field and whatever, you know, thing that you're doing. Just be smart and just be intelligent, okay? I have met proper nabros, you know, nabros, those ones that go and do business, those Igbo boys that go and do business right from primary school, okay? I've met some of them that are the smartest people ever, okay? So it's not about, oh, first class or whatever is about just being smart in general okay i hope that makes sense anyway let's move on the next thing for me was his sense of responsibility i could tell right from when we met that he was a very responsible person okay i don't want to go too much into details of how i knew but from the kind of things that he was saying and doing and the kind of things that he told me that he was doing early on in life I could tell that this was someone that had a very good sense of responsibility. He was the kind of person that didn't just let things slide or, you know, leave things for other people to do. From early on in his life, he took responsibility for so many things in his life. And I was like, yes, that is a very good thing. I need you in my life, okay? I need you in my life to come and take responsibility as well. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, you guys get the point. Then the next thing for me was his love for his family. Yes, I actually appreciate guys who love their family, who love their moms. His love for his mom was even number one for me, okay? He loves his mom so much and he, he was doing so much for his family, he was doing so much for his mom and I, I actually genuinely liked that, okay? I don't understand women who say they want men who don't have their mothers alive. I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? Okay, so for me, it was a big plus seeing my husband's dynamics with his mom and how he related with his mom and how he treated his family in general. It was important for me to see that and, you know, use that as a marker for whether, you know, I would want him in my life or not because like I said, if you see a man that does not regard his family, does not love his mom, better run away from such a man, okay, because <laughs> <laughs> and these are things that are playing out right now in my marriage, okay? He's someone that loves his family so much. I mean, me and, and, you know, the kids. He's someone that loves his family so much and does so much for his family. I saw these things even before we got married, okay? So, 
Yeah, shine your eyes, sis. Shine your eyes. Now, another reason why I chose my husband is because he was good with money, okay? From our conversation, from kind of things we're talking about, I could tell that this was someone who was good with money, this was someone who was good at saving, someone that was good at investing, someone that was good at, you know, apportioning money properly. He wasn't a spendthrift, he wasn't someone that was just lao lao anyhow, okay? A lot of women actually enjoy it when, you know, you're dating somebody and he's just spending anyhow, anyhow, all his salary is finishing all, your, all his salary on you and you're happy, okay? Okay, now continue <laughs> continue in his own case i could tell that this was someone who had a good knowledge of personal finance and was actually good with his finances okay so that was a huge plus for me okay now another reason for me which was actually a very big deal to me was the fact that he was good with children okay i saw him interact with his cousin's kids and yeah i fell in love with him okay i fell in love with him i was like this guy is good with children he didn't even mind that people were there people were watching he was you know very careful with them very responsible you no, always like he was really really good with children the way he interacted with them the way he took care of them the way he was just coordinating things with them i was like my ovaries my ovaries <laughs> But yeah, he was really, really good with children. And again, these are things that are playing out even right now in our marriage. And I'm just like, yes, I carry I go market. I carry I go market. <laughs> and then, aside being god fairy, I think this was actually the biggest reason why I agreed to marry my husband. And that is because he was fascinated by me, okay? Yeah, this might sound weird, but that is the best way I can. I can put it okay he was actually fascinated by me he was someone that used to listen to me a lot like i'll be talking and talking and talking and talking and, <laughs> and he just looking at me and he'll be listening and he could remember things that i had told him you know he could remember conversations that i had, to I had told him things that i had told him in person he could remember them he was always staring at me i remember telling my parents this one they were like okay <laughs> why is that an issue i was like this guy used to stare at me a lot like stare like stare at me like i'll be talking and talking and he'll be staring at me like like he's listening but he's also staring at me okay anyway he was really really fascinated by me he actually liked me in my raw state without makeup in my elements and he was always looking at me like i was the best thing since sliced bread i'm just like hey like this guy you you really must be looking at an angel <laughs> You know, he used to act like he was looking at something so amazing. I'm just like, okay, okay, if I'm gonna be treated like this, I might as well just agree to have this for a lifetime. He doesn't look at me that way anymore, but whatever. <laughs> He still stares at me from time to time, but it wasn't with the kind of admiration that, you know, he had there now. See Finish has entered. See Finish has finally entered, okay? But anyway, he still likes me in my raw state. He still prefers me without makeup. He still likes me the way I am. He still, you know, admires me. So anyway, yeah, I chose right. I chose right. <laughs> Now, these are the things that were actually important to me and they might not be important to you, but whatever is important to you, make sure you don't compromise and actually look out for them in your partner, okay? So yeah, I'm going to leave Nezaville's video in the description box so you guys can go and watch it and see her own selfish reasons for choosing her husband. But these are mine and I chose right, so I'm gonna stay right beside him. Yeah, that's my man and I'm gonna stay right beside him. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.